Josh, and this is the Games Behind the Games, brought to you by Limited Run Games and Greenlit Content, where I meet with developers to learn about the games that have inspired their own work by chatting about those games as we play them together. For this episode, I've traveled to Japan for Tokyo Game Show 2019, where I sat down with art player's Koji Igarashi, the former Castlevania director and lead creator on the Bloodstained series, including Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2. As it turns out, the game that most inspired Iga's formative work in the Metroidvania genre wasn't Metroid or Castlevania. It was Nintendo's The Legend of Zelda, a link to the past for Super NES. Well, Iga, thank you for taking time out of Tokyo Game Show to play some Zelda with me. It's very exciting. You know, I've seen you mention before that The Legend of Zelda has been very influential on your work. So I'm, I'm curious to know, what was your first Zelda experience? Like, where did you discover Zelda to begin with? あの、大学時代かな。大学時代にそのディスクシステムだったんで、僕はその時お金がなかったので、先輩の家に遊びに行ってでやらしてもらってたっていうのを覚えてます。what was it about Zelda that, that drew you in? Were you immediately compelled by the game or did it take a while to grow on you? えっとですね、あの、あの、あの you you, you selected uh, the third Zelda game, A Link to the Past, or uh, Triforce of the Gods, or whatever you want to call it, um, as, as opposed to the original Zelda. So I'm curious what it is about this game that particularly resonates with you, that makes you want to you know, jump back in and talk about its, uh, you know, its appeal and its, its influence. これが僕は今でも so what do you think of uh, Zelda 2 for uh, Disk System? It's funny because the, you know, the action RPG design of Zelda 2 in a lot of ways I think is reflected in the games you create, but you know, obviously they're very different kind of games as well. はい。あの、ま、あの、あるんですけども、ま、根底にあるのが僕はこっちの方が根底にあって。で、そこの中で例えばあの、適用を倒した時に、じゃあ、やっぱり経験値が入った方がいいよねとか、色々そういう風なところを考えていくと、そっ
主体としてあと周りの遊びっていうのをすごい上下っていうことを意識しながら遊ばせるんですね上は逆にそうではなくて距離とかそういうまあ上からのなんで周りの,その配置だとかっていうところの重力を関係しないところでの遊びをあの重きに置くのであのそういう意味であのまあ僕らがどこを目指してたかとまあもともとあのもともとのタイトルがあるそのプランチャイズのタイトルだったのであの横っていうのはそこをあんまり変えられないなと思ったのでまあ僕らはそのえっとジャンプっていうのと間合いっていうのをすごく上下っていうのをすごい気にするゲーム性をあの取ってた感じですね。You know, recently playing through Bloodstained,、um, there is this real feeling of satisfaction, like I don't know the the way that things are placed just out of reach, and you have this this kind of tantalizing desire to go back and and feel them. And I, I feel like Zelda actually、uh, this might have been the first game where I really saw that.、Uh, you know, like. There's places where you go and you can see a piece of heart or something, and you're like, how, how do I get that? Later, you get some sort of ability that you didn't expect that you know, opens that up to you, and then you realize,、right. oh, okay, that's what I needed to do. I, I definitely had that experience playing Bloodstained recently. はいはいはいはい。あのそれはですね、意識してやってまして、あの特徴的なところにそのみその何でもないところに実はそのアイテムとかピッと置いちゃうと忘れちゃうんですよみんな。なんですけども特徴的なところにそのマップでも何でもいいんですけど特徴的なシンボリックなところにあえてそういうものを置くことでそのみんなの印象付けをそうしていくっていうのがちょっとあるの。あとあの実はその探索ゲームって言いながら結構一本道であのゲームの特に序盤の方は作っていてでそれの,その探索ゲームなんだよっていう深く印象づけるためにやっぱりそういうギミックをなるべく序盤のうちに入れてあこれはそういうゲームなんだっていうのを意識づけをちょっと先にしている感じですね。実はこの家の中の壺で必ずハートが入ってるのも実はすごい細かく。あのワンをやってる時になかなかハートって回復しなかったんでそういうところでちゃんと。ケアがちゃんとできるようになっているのはすごくそのいいんですよね。その設計が。Yeah, it kind of creates the the sense of certain places like Link's house or the village as sort of home bases almost, which you didn't really have in the the first game, where you were constantly just stuck, lost out in the woods or on the mountains, and it was always dangerous.、Yeah. はい、すごく良かったと思います。なんか本当になんか。すごい進化したなっていうふうにすごいもうそれでびっくりしたんですよねこのゲームは遊んだ時。Well, you know, I I I feel like there's some of that that carries over into the games you've designed. You know, the library with the librarian and Symphony of the Night, or the town in、uh, Bloodstained, where you go back and you can forge items and weapons and take quests and things like that. There's always kind of like a, a place where you go back to and you're like, this is a place where I can recharge and and kind of. You know, top up my health and get new items and that sort of thing, and, and then from there I can strike out and continue the adventure. はい、あのまああのメリハリは多分重要だとは思っていて、であのえっ、ー、と街ってやっぱり安心するところなので、今回あの実はもうちょっとホームタウンをもうちょっといろいろやりたかったんですけど、あのちょっとまあ今回はあそこが限界だったということで。I mean, it's already such a big game. I, I was really surprised by how much there is to do in Bloodstain. I, I've played the game a totally different way than I approached you know, Castlevania games, where it's just kind of like power through. Whereas in this, I felt like you know, I needed to kind of sit back and take my time and you know, not just rush to the end. Ah, well, the quest or the game, the game is more than the game. 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 The game is more t h なんですかね、目的をいっぱい与えてあげるとやっぱりその寿命がやっぱ伸びるんですよねだからそういう意味では。Were you able to approach this as you know like a player a fan or did you kind of you know approach this game when you played it for the first time more from a professional like you know curious about how they designed it? あのもともとゲームやるときに自分だったらこうやるよなっていうのはやっぱり考えながら作っているのであ考えてるんですよいつも。なのでそういう意味ではあのまあ、そういう意味ではそのなんていうんですかねあのクリエイター視点だった,だったような気はするんですけどもただまあ普通にやってましたね。<笑>
kind of look at as, as maybe still being aspirational about Zelda. Yeah, I'm game design is always a series of お手本になるような感じのゲームデザインですね例えばダンジョンの中で手に入ったものを使って攻略していくとかそのこのダンジョンの中で一つが完結してたりとかするすごいそのお手本になるようなものなので、えっと、一回はこ,うこのみんなが通る道としてあの見直した時にもう一回ああまだもう一回初心に帰る時にはすごくいいソフトなんだと思いますね。You know, whatever comes next with Bloodstain and what comes beyond. Hi, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor